morning well I did a terrible job of washing these windows didn't I look at that oh here there's our octopus he's still working his way up here up into this corner it's like uh, when you're talking to somebody and they got this big growth on their face or they've got something in their teeth you know when you're talking to somebody and you're just staring at it while they're talking to you that's this freaking rock chip and crack to me now I just stare at the damn thing I'm like you why oughta or just like in the movie Uncle Buck John Candy yeah I'm uh, Molly Russell's wart <laughs> anyway I just put out a video about the guy he had the tires that were locked up um, and what happens here is a lot of guys this is just a we're raised with frozen brakes and frozen stuff so we kind of do our best to never have that happen I know a lot of trailers in the oil patch now when you pop so when I'm gonna say dynamite that means applying your tractor brake is the yellow trailer brake is the red so when you apply you just pull on this one watch that red one it comes out as well right that's what some guys are doing they get up in the morning it's been cold and wet and freezing they go to start off they push both those in their brakes are frozen on their truck on their trailer sorry on their trailer anybody that's been watching they're you know or that's been working in the cold sorry they know they do not want frozen brakes so here's what you do okay I'm gonna activate these brakes again so now brakes are off like the parking brakes I still got my foot on okay when you go to park at night 95% of the time unless you're a super duper heavy hauler and you got 100,000 pounds sitting on your trailer you don't need to activate your trailer brakes your tractor brakes will hold you and the load almost anywhere you park if you're parking at a truck stop that's all you need if you're parking on a downhill of 11% grade let the brakes cool and apply your trailer brakes but here's what you do hold on to this one put your thumb on this one pull that stays there you could use two hands if you want whatever this is just how we're raised grab push grab push grab push that's how we do it in Canada and probably in the northern cold states as well I never even touch that one unless I'm dropping the trailer I might pop that one go out on a unhook from the trailer and leave it there so you know this is simple stuff but lots of guys don't get taught that and I've got a story for you we're just gonna pull out of the truck stop here I've got a story for you that just goes to show that I uh when I started trucking way back in 1997 that doesn't even seem like that long ago but to my sons that's probably long ago right anyway in 97 I barely knew how to even just steer and gear the thing and I was learning it all as fast as I could driving an old cab over truck for a company called Boots Transport my uncle started up this company he had two cab overs to start I don't know I think we had, he had about 15 trailers anyway so I'm driving still learning I don't even think I had my license for a month and all I did like because I had been driving trucks around um, at a job I had before so I kind of knew how to gear a little bit, but I went and took a little refresher course, a little three-day course to show you how to gear uh, back in 97. I didn't have, you know, I didn't have trucking in my blood or nothing, right? None of my family were truck drivers. Anyway, long story longer, 
I'm taking this load of steel beams tubing 66 feet long okay and we used to haul those on 48 foot tandems and then also now that when we got up to the heavier weights in the 60,000 pound range uh, we had I think he had one triaxle one or two triaxle 48 foot trailers so I'm driving this thing 66 foot material on a cab over which is okay we had, we, we had a lot hanging out the front I think we geez we almost had six feet hanging off the front of this trailer well just do the math 66 so a 48 foot trailer I had six feet out the front that's 50 what is that six 53s uh, no, 48 and 6, 54 feet. So then hanging off the back, I had 12 feet. Right? So 12 feet hanging off the back, 48 foot trailer, 6 feet out the front. Picture that. On a shiny red international, I think it was a 1986 or an 84. Those numbers kind of ring a bell to me. International cab over. Anyway. It was fun. I enjoyed that whole trip. I look at the map book and I've never been to Lethbridge. And this is going all the way down to Lethbridge from where I was from in Red Deer, Alberta. I had never been to Lethbridge. Uh, I'm going to take this way. I'm going to cut across at a place called Bicycle. Yeah, why well, take the main roads? I'm going to take the back roads and this looks faster. Google, I didn't have Google to tell me the fastest route or the best route. I had a map book, right? So I looked on the map. I'm driving along and all of a sudden uh, I got, you know, I turned off the main highway and I'm driving down this secondary road, driving along, and all of a sudden I got lights and sirens behind me. Like, what the heck? Uh oh. So I pull over. And it's DOT, and he says, uh, li or, uh, license, registration. They didn't ask for logbooks even back then because they were just kind of pointless. We we filled out a piece of paper, but it wasn't didn't make much sense to them. License, registration. How heavy are you? I said, I don't know. I think the the weight, of, you know, I'm new. The weight of the, uh, the steel is like 62,000 pounds or something like that. 60,000 pounds. He goes, uh, you know, this is a road band road. I said, road band road. What is it? Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> That's exactly what I said. I said, what does that mean? Kind of looks at me stupid. He's like going, you stupid truck driver, you don't even know what a road band road means? No, straight up honest, I had no idea. He says, do you ever remember seeing a little sign with a truck on it? And underneath the truck it said 70%? Or sorry, 75%? I said, yeah. He says that means you're only allowed 75% of your axle weight gross number. So if we're allowed 24,000 pounds, or sorry, let's just talk uh, for easy measuring. So we go in kilograms. So if you're allowed 24,000 kilograms on your rear three axles of the trailer, your weight should only be 75% of that number. So I should have been only hauling 75% of the 60,000 pounds I had on, kind of, sort of, if the weights were right. Just for easy figuring for, for you people. No idea. I had absolutely no idea uh, about that at all. So, he says, okay, 
Well, we got to see how much you weigh. And of course, back then we didn't have very many weigh scales anywhere. So we had he had the portable scales, and any truck driver who has to go on them things, they, you're always worried because you know they're supposed to be okay, but bouncing around in the back of a pickup truck, you know, they might be out of uh, out of whack. You never know. Anyway, so we find us a, a pullout, and he puts down the scales, and I go across them. And yeah, I'm way over the 75% allowance. So that was my first ticket. Actually, I haven't had uh, tickets since, but that was my only overweight ticket. And dang it, I think it was like 600 bucks or something. Like back then, that was a lot of money. I can't quite remember. It was a long time ago. But, you know, we put out some videos and you see other guys mocking other people on some of these other, you know, dumb shit truckers do videos or whatever they are. And I'll show some stupid stuff. But a lot of it is more, hopefully, you laugh at it and learn from it. Right? That's the problem out here. Don't be afraid to ask stupid questions. You know, if I would have asked anybody the stupid question, like, yo, man, what's that, uh, what's that sign mean with the truck and he's got the percentage underneath him? What does that mean? Somebody would have told me, they would have said, you dumbass, this is what this means. Well, okay. Nobody knows, right? Nobody's ever told me, so. Don't feel bad about asking for advice asking questions this job's hard enough let alone doing it without any help out here so all right hope all is well just making my way through billings on my way north bye for now